well there's plenty of room for 3,000 students last year there was a lot of activity going on here campfires barbecues sing-alongs lots of alcohol stretches two and a half miles all the way up to the river Neath. Plenty of room as well for long walks if you want to be like that and you can walk here right up to the estuary of the river Neath where all the wildlife is there for you to spot and take pictures of and record it's a wonderful place. It's called Crumbling Burrows. There you can see the students arriving with their parents and uh, the staff here have been working hard to get this place clean and tidy, spick and span, so there'll be no complaints. I mean, it's all brand new here. I think it's about four years old. But it's a beautiful university. And whoever comes here should do well. This is the tide coming in on Jews Marine Beach. There's not much wind about, so we're not going to get many big waves today. There's a nice breeze blowing, nice cool breeze blowing, and the sun is shining. <clears throat> not much cloud in in the sky if we pan over towards Neath there you can see the clouds and you can see the beach is empty apart from uh, that one gentleman there oh, we zoom in and see if we can get a decent picture of him paddling away there on his own of course this is the week now that the Freshers arrive for the Swansea Bay University, which is there in the background. There's a lot of activity going on there today. Uh, they're expecting around 3,000 freshers for this term, which will end in July next year. Uh, we just look at down there now towards the west, and that's Kilvale. Right, we get some close-ups of the waves now before we leave and we pan around left you can see there how choppy it all is mind you this can be ferocious in the winter with waves nearly 10 feet high and if I pan right again you can see this is the area that they wanted to build the tidal lagoon right here it would come out from the if I can see where the turbines are it would come out from the piers there and go out eight miles come back in eight miles and it would come back to land right here at the Swansea Bay University and then the lagoon would be filled with water emptied twice a day and filled twice a day to generate electricity from 16 or 8 I'm not quite sure turbines okay I'm using the Panasonic HC VX 980 camcorder and the resolution is 4k Someone has planted a, a pipe into the sand here. I wonder how long that will last. And in the background there, you can see the Great Hall of Swansea Bay Campus University.
there are notices installed on the entrances to Cromley Burrows uh, and they indicate what you can find animal wise and flora uh, it's all in abundance here and uh, if I take a look pan there you can see this is the start of a two and a half mile walk which goes right up to the uh, estuary of the River Neath and in the background there the hills of Neath Valley this is the small forest you'll find on Crumbling Burrows. Now you walk in there and make sure you find your way back out by leaving a trail. So it's welcome again to 3,000 freshers at the Swansea Bay University campus. There's a bus every 20 minutes into the city centre so there's plenty for them to do after the classes. <laughs> 